Hey there, folks. Boba the Vulture back again with more Let's Play Arrow... Or not Arrow. <laughs> Supersonic? What am I talking about? Um, no, this is, uh, this is Uncharted Waters New Horizons. Um, just funny. I should remember what I'm playing because... And I'm sad to say, folks, but, uh, I'm recording this immediately after I recorded the previous episode, even though it might not come out at the same time. You visited a port called Maracaibo? You just started sailing. You just started sailing. You look kind of funny for somebody who's from around here. Boy, oh. What's up with you, man? You want to see him? Have press the start button. Hey, there's the old man. I see him over there. He's going to tell me what the port specialty is. Grain is the specialty of this port. I wonder. Hansa Cog at the shipyard. I don't think that's that important. Hmm. Going to a large and ask. I'm going to uh, this uh, trading post right here. See if there's anything cool going on. Hey, man. How can I help you? What am I looking for? I'm looking for something other than fish. I was looking for grain. Grain being your specialty, but I don't see any grain. And I kind of don't want to. Uh, Oh, the sea is really interesting, isn't it? I'm interested in this. I'm so glad we decided to make this voyage. And that's Paula, folks. I remember I forgot her name in the last episode, and I'm sorry, Paula. The way the sea goes out forever, it's so romantic. One ping. Hey, Missy. You haven't been around for half of the stuff that we've been doing. Arr. We'll be shoving off. Not till after we've supplied. So... 31 barrels, and then 50. Yes. And then we'll load up on some water. Good, good. And uh, let's see get 11 food, 31 water. Now we're ready to shove off for another 39 days, and another 48 hours. Yeah, there's that village that I was so concerned about to begin with. Let's weigh anchor. And have a look around. We discover the ruins of an ancient civilization! Whoa! Perfectly sphere spherical stone measuring about six and a half feet in diameter. Its use is unknown. I believe it's used for atmosphere. This is the uh, Central American gladiators. All right, now we can stop and put ball, which sadly is allied with Turkey. I mean, it's not sad. It's just. If there were a canal here, sea travel would be much more convenient. Foreshadowing! Come on, Teddy. Where are you? How am I helping? Okay. I'd have to pay 20%. You don't really have a, uh, a specialty, huh? Old man. Are you gonna help me? She saw you spouse a ship. Get yourself acquainted with waitresses and cafes. They know lots of useful information. I didn't mean to come into this shop, but alright, while I'm here. What ships do you have, my good sir? Two used ships. They are terrible ships. Terrible ships. Right, you want me to go talk to strange ladies. This port has nothing special. That's sad. Poor port. They didn't know. I wonder if you got any cool items here. You got any cool items here? <coughs> May I help you? Possibly. What do you have? You have lime juice and a garnet brooch. I have lime juice already. A beautifully designed brooch set with 
beautiful garments. Cost me 20,000 gold pieces. I have no need for that. Thanks, buddy, but uh, no. Alright, it's late. Everybody's gone to bed. Maybe we should get going. Oh, hey there. I'll shove off. Alright, I'll show you. No, you shove off! Alright, so. Let's load up, uh. 22. That's too much. Whoops. I'll load both barrels of water. My bad, folks. I only should have loaded 12. And then let's load up the water. <laughs> Sorry, a little bit of cough, folks. I don't know if it's just an adjustment to the seasons. We can sail for a day longer in this. Well, no, two days shorter, sorry, in this configuration. Now then, let's uh, skirt along this coast. Commodore, our crew has paid 80 gold pieces in wages. Who are you folks? They're a Turkish merchant fleet with a lot of nows. I got a lot of nows nows. And they're heading, heading for the north. Godspeed, Turkish merchants. You guys are alright. We discovered the port of Kalao. Now we're not going to stop in Kalao. Why would we? It's only been five days. I sail down the coast of South America, no problem. That's just a supply port anyways. I don't need supplies. I'm a man. Now you're a man. A man, man, man. My guys get more experience if uh, I do not actually stop at uh, every supply port I come to. So, considering I've got plenty of supplies to keep sailing, I'm going to keep going along. Unless I find a port that's actually worth stopping at. There's really no reason for me to stop until I get, um, down to, uh, down to Argentina, or back around Argentina. Ah. We found the port of Valparaiso. Nope, again. <laughs> you can try and tempt me. It's not gonna work. Pretty much nothing but supply ports this way is, uh, I think, the take-home point you might want to get out of, uh, out of all this. Anything cool in there? Now we have found a village. Let us examine that. Let's land at the village and have a look around. And find an exotic animal! Score! It's a vampire bird. Large bat with 12 inch wingspan. Vampire bird uses this sharp teeth to make a shallow wound off prey. It's pretty liquid to prevent the wound from closing and feeds on the blood. Vampire bird. Yeah, folks. Let's cast off. Now that we've met the vampire bird. Wesley Willis. Gone but not forgotten. Unless you had no idea what was just happening there, in which case I guess he's been forgotten. I, in theory, already stopped at that village. Yeah, I would have stopped at that village already. And if I didn't, I'm sure someone will come back and correct me. When they do, I'll say, oops, I better go back and uh, do that right. And they'll say, yes, you should. And I will. And that'll be how it'll happen. I will. I will. Alright. Come on now. I know there's a supply port up here. Did you have to go to get supplies up here? Oh, decent ways north, as it turns out. Huh? 
all the way to Montevideo. <coughs> wow, what a difference. It's Montevideo. Ahoy there, matey. Yeah, um... I think this time... Since I don't plan on stopping again until I reach the coast of Africa, I'm gonna go ahead and supply, resupply in an optimal way. We can now sail for 48 days. And step one in our sailing, sail straight south. Uncover some of this exciting ocean. no one has ever mapped out before. Because they're not me, and I'm the man that makes the maps. Me, Ernst von Bohr. With my faithful friends, Hans and Paula. Alright, that's enough sailing south. this continue canvassing the ocean until there's nothing left nothing left that is out of my sight ocean you disgust me get out of my sight sail along. It's a whole lot of nothing here, but uh, we're filling in more and more of, oh no, I gotta sail south! Sail south and fast! I can sail pretty fast, actually. I got small ships. Oh no, that was too far south! No! Suboptimal! Alright, as I approach the end of the world, sail up just a little bit. Make sure I got that squared away, too. No, I don't. Come on. Alright. Actually, you know, I could just, like, <laughs> float around here and paint this land the way that I want it to be. I think I got it now. Yes, I'm cutting across the sea in a fantastic way. And the crew was paid. The crew got paid, son. This is going lovely. There we go. Now I have explored all of that that I need to. And uh, as soon as I hook up there, just sort of start sailing up. Now 
Now the issue here is going to be, do I want to risk it and sail a little bit away from the coast to get a little bit more of the map uncovered, as I'm doing right now? If I do this, am I going to kill the crew at storms? I don't know, folks. Is being off the shore a little bit safer than being on the shore? Is checking the maps continually annoying you guys yet? I can't say whether any of these things are true. Can only watch and hope. And you know what, while I'm here, I can pick up a whole ton of ivory. Once I get back to the actual, you know, coast of Africa. Yeah, you know, why don't I do that? back over here. Yeah, see? Uh-oh, storms are coming. Let's weigh anchor. And wait. It's a storm! What do you know? It's a trap! The traps are tossing the ship! <coughs> now, how long do we have to wait to last out the storm? This is the question. What is the answer? Commodore, somehow we weathered the star. Oh, sorry about that, folks. Uh, this uh, particular headset has a, uh, a little switch about halfway down the cord, and if you brush it, bad things happen. Alright, let's cast off here before that clearly Barbary piratey sort of dude comes over here to wreck my, wreck my day. Waste me like a toy. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a trip, but it's well worth it. Stop at Timbuktu. Besides, my navigation level and knowledge went up. And so did uh, his. Uh, and his seamanship and leadership. Yeah. And Ant Antoine's navigation level and leadership and seamanship and knowledge and ship went up. Everybody is learning so much, folks learning so much from the neutral port of Timbuktu. Learning so much, like where to go to sleep for the night. I think right here seems like a good place. I heard that a good navigator was at the cafe. Bet it's my boy. Bet it's my boy Hans. You my boy, Hans. Huh. Well, there are guys that aren't my boy. How's life on the high seas? I say with a merchant fleet from Spain. That's cool. Juan Santana. Oh, wait there, Mitty. How's life on the high seas? I got a black magic merchant fleet. I don't really any capable sailors. How you doing, Hans? Commodore, it's nice to be back ashore. How you doing, Niccolo? Commodore, let's not spend too much time in the cafe. How you doing, Antoine? Commodore, where's our next stop? Hmm. Sorry, that was, uh, sort of landed somewhere in between Churchill, as I was expecting, and, uh, Nixon. I guess I just got my, uh, Stereotypical jowly British politician confused with my stereotypical jowly American politician. Of different times, it's. it's uh, sure, but uh, still. 
<coughs> Let's rest and make ourselves now. Check it out. Nap time. Sweet. I am a traitor. And Ivory is the special needs port. I got a big, big appetite for Ivory. How may I help you? You can sell me some crap. They do have gold. It's ridiculously expensive, though. That price is acceptable. Although, hold on. You have gold. Let's check the gold. That price is acceptable too. He thinks that price is acceptable for gold. There's got to be a better price for gold out there. I'm going to buy the ivory for right now. What's their specialty? There should be better margins on it. How about 66? You can't trick me. You'll make a fine profit even at 65 gold pieces. Okay, I give it. I'll sell it to you for 65. Way to go, frickin' Antoine. 65. <coughs> you know what? I'm gonna load up on 234 lots of ivory here. And then, uh... Oh, well, you know what? It's it's less of a. Uh... Yeah, no, I'll get more. Ivory. It seems a little expensive. Well then, uh... how about the gold? That price is acceptable. Ah, uh, that's not okay. I'll offer you six hundred. Can't sell that low, but how about eight hundred forty-five? Hey, you can't trick me. You'll make a fine profit even at eight hundred and thirteen. I get the feeling this isn't actually going to work, but I'm going to try it anyways. Because it's gold. How can you not profit off of gold? 121. Come on, we don't have any more space in the hole. It's okay. <coughs> we got a load of gold and a load of ivory. I mean, we're going to be friggin' millionaires. Let's leave that here. We, uh, haven't had much luck finding Paula's homeland, have we? We've been to almost every harbor in the world. Arr! <clears throat> wow, terrible. I'm sorry I've caused you so much trouble, Guan Ping. I mean, Ernst von Bohr. Why, it's no trouble at all. But if we can, we just want to find it for you as quickly as possible. Exactly. But even if we don't, ye needn't fret. The captain here said that if he could, he'd like to stay with ye forever. Huh? D -d Don't say silly things like that. Paula will misunderstand. It's fun, boy! Uh huh. Well, then, the plot thickens. Will we be shoving off? Yes, let's. Uh, we can still sail for 19 days, even with all this crap. I mean, valuable treasure. Oh, I should have checked in with the shipwright, seen whether or not our ships were damaged and whether or not we needed to get them back into ship shape. Oh, well. I think we're probably alright. Um, whoa. What's going on with all the uh, dancing dudes over here? The Dutch battle fleet. Oh, alright then. My ship status. Nope, it, I don't want to uh, auto navigate. There are no fleets to attack. Um. Yeah, tell me about my fleets. Tell me about my boats. How are they faring? The dune. Okay, it's in good shape. Um, and the jam B. It's in good shape too, so. Yeah, let's just, uh. Let's just sail on. Let's 
Let's reveal a bit more of the coast as we go along here. Because we can. I understand that in actual ancient Sailor times, they wouldn't have had the opportunity to uh, just sort of magically pop away from the coast and continue to check a map to make sure they didn't get to have an auto map feature that uh, would mean they wouldn't get lost, but we have one because, you know, we're uh, whalers on the moon. I don't know. And a storm's headed our way. Crap. The waves are tossing the ship. This is the terrible thing that can happen to you if you do what I did. The storm is killing us. We must get ashore. Let's weigh anchor. Let's land. Let's wait it out. It's still storming. No. All the work of my awesome unicorn um you know, figurehead thingy. Help me. Now, question is, did any of our crew die? It's three in the morning. We won't hear about any of it anyway. Um, crew, how are you guys doing? Nope, you're all alive and well. Excellent. Uh, tomorrow morning we're going to get our ships repaired because they invariably will have suffered damage. I say invariably, although I haven't actually checked. But they were out on the water in a storm. That generally means that they got hit hard. Uh, 26 out of 31. That's actually not terrible. How's little John B doing? 19 out of 32. John B got tossed a little bit there. Yeah, you're gonna have to toss me. Alright, so. Hey, 4 in the morning. Everybody's out and about again. Yes. Alright, basic, uh... Alright there, basic defensive tactics. Hey, old man. Take a look at the specialities of this port. They're a lot like nothing. <laughs> Alright, what brings you to this shipyard? Uh, I could use some repairs. How about the dune? 300 gold pieces. That's a bargain. 660 gold pieces. Still not half bad. Thank you, friend. I'll remember you. I probably won't remember him. I have terrible memory. We haven't had much luck finding Paul's homeland. Aye. No. Trouble. Oh, well. Love, apparently. Huh? No. Will you be shoving off? I might as well supply. And then shove off. We can sail for 19 days which we might as well just do. Yeah, we got ports hanging around. Who wants to go to the ports? Uh, me in a storm. I know. Commodore, our crew was paid 80 wages. Gold pieces. Yes. And all that sort of thing. I'm getting out of his way. Guy looked like he was in a hurry. Actually, we are now out of the, like, area that is a band of terrible storms, so might as well sort of eke my way over here and uh, explore a little bit more of the ocean. I mean, why not, right? That way I will have explored all the water on this side of the map. That's right there, anyways. I realize there's more around uh, Africa there. Um, six days, so yeah.
Let's start a heading back in an Amsterdamly direction, shall we? I think we should. You never know, the uh, Governor General of Holland might be looking for us. One would only be so lucky, right? Um, oh. Oops, took the long way around England. Oh well. I'm gonna gain sailing experience. Okay, so seriously, let's let's get back to Amsterdam. There we go. Commodore, we're going to stop in Amsterdam. Is that okay? I, uh... <laughs> now then. While we're here... Now oh, it's getting late in the day. I should go to the, uh... Go to my friendly local retailer here first. <coughs> my gosh. There I go again. All right. Let's um, go to the old journal here. 813 gold pieces a piece and 65 gold pieces a piece. So, what can I do for you? Um, I'll load the gold on the John B. 1,089! Okay, so yeah, still gonna make profit on that. Let's, uh... And then on the dune... 290. So that's still, I would say, larger profit. Let's go ahead and sell the gold first. I'll sell you 121 lots of gold. Don't have any more goods to send out. Yeah, we do. We got lots of ivory. 230. Four lots, actually. I am a rich man now! And I haven't even gone over and talked to any of my good, good friends, like the Governor General or Mercator yet. This isn't Mercator's office. Dang it, now Mercator's not going to want to see me. Yeah, now it's too late to go see Mercator. He's going to be all like, screw you, man. Oh, wait, no, he'll let me in. Hey, Mercator, how's it going? Welcome back, Ernst, Hans, Paula. The sea's treating you all fine, I see. How about sharing some of the information you gathered? Sure thing, my friend. Report. Thank you for all your hard work. Here's your pay. Another 40,080 gold pieces. Come back again. Alrighty. Yeah. I'd say the sea's treating us pretty well. <laughs> But yeah, folks, I uh, better cut it off right here for now. Um, this is Boba the Vulture. This is Let's Play Uncharted Waters New Horizons. And my explorations have gone so far, this part of the map is already starting to poke over. So you can see the other half of the map from, uh, like, what I'm saying is this stuff over here. Oh my god, it's my cursor. Starting to poke in all the way over on this side of the map. I've almost circumnavigated the globe. Anyways, folks. This is Bo with the Vulture. This is Let's Play Uncharted Waters New Horizons, and I thank you very much for watching. Bye bye now.